Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about self-actualization. So what does it mean and how can you use it to have more positive psychology and personal growth? That's what we are going to cover in today's video. Today's topic is big, so it needs a sip of coffee. And let's go. Self-actualization is a term created by the big teacher of positive psychology, Abraham Maslow, and it represents the highest level of psychological development, where personal potentials are fully realized after all basic needs, physiological needs, and ego-based needs are fulfilled. In short, means becoming everything the one is capable of becoming after realizing his full and true potentials. 1943, Abraham Maslow has published the hierarchy of needs pyramid. In this pyramid, he has uh, assigned all the human needs into categories. First category on the basis is the physiological or physical based needs, mean water, food, warmth, rest. Now second level of the pyramid is the safety needs, having shelter, property, health. Then after that is belongings and community needs, meaning that having a community around you that you belong to, tribe, friends, relationship, sexual intimacy. The next level is self-esteem needs, the need to feel appreciated, the need to feel respected, the deep sense of self. And last needs are self-actualization needs, the need for personal growth, the need to realizing the potential and taking action from them, the need to realizing everyone's talents and gifts and sharing the gifts and talents with the world as a life purpose. Now, self-actualization is not a luxury. It's not something nice to have. It's a need. It's a human need to realize your full potential and what you are capable of doing and doing so. It's like vitamins. Vitamins are part of physiological needs. Now, the lack of vitamins with the time, this will create health issues and diseases. Same with self-actualization. If you are not pushing yourself to your boundaries, if you are not setting goals and achieving them and moving to another level, then it will have also psychological impact. A lot of people settle for less what they deserve, settle for less of what they are capable of doing, and then all of a sudden they will start feeling routine about their life, feeling very bored, unfulfilled, unsatisfied, this feeling of confusion, like lost, I don't know what do I want to do in life, and all this stuff. Because a lot of people focus on fulfilling the lower needs, the physical needs and ego-based needs, and then they totally ignore or forget about fulfilling the self-actualization needs, which is pushing yourself and achieving more, the harder. Mainly due to social conditioning. As Albert Einstein says, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift, and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a community that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. When you are putting goals to yourself that seem out of reach, then your rational mind will say that you can do it and it's you are only dreaming. Then you will shut down all your capabilities and potentials and you will prevent yourself from having personal growth. Therefore, this need of self-actualization won't be filled. What blocks most people from reaching this level of self-actualization? Actually, main reasons are traumas and crises that you experience in your life plus social conditioning now these circumstances mainly traumas will have an impact of your lower needs remember if you don't fulfill your lower needs you can't reach that level of fulfilling your higher need which is self-actualization for example what happened when someone experienced a lot of bad social conditioning and traumas his needs for safety won't be fulfilled he will feel insecure the need for self-esteem won't be fulfilled and he will feel unworthy the need for belongings and community won't be filled he will be feeling unloved and also second most important is social conditioning and this paradigm of society around us since we were born since we were raised we have this program in our mind from the whole society around us go to school get high grades so that you can get good job and then your whole life will be dedicated to get high grade at school and you will get punishment from teachers and parents if you don't get high grades in order to what to get the job then you will get this job you will work all your time from nine to five 
you'll come back at home very tired and you want to rest and then you will rest you will have to sleep early to wake up early for the job next day and keep continuous like that this social conditioning will prevent us from thinking outside the box from having free time of thinking what would I like to do really in my life what's my purpose in life what's my life message what are my real potentials and capabilities so what's the solution that's what we will cover in next videos because I will make two other videos to talk about what are the characteristics that you will have when you start your self-actualization and how to start working towards that journey. Important topic we are covering in this series of self-actualization so that you can have more personal growth and positive psychology and you will start working towards something I would like to call it creating your best version. That was today's video. I hope you like it. If you like it, hit the thumbs up and Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button. See you next video of this series. Make sure to watch it. And thank you for watching. Best regards. Usama.